hello guys welcome to our channel and in this video we're gonna be doing a quick review of the newly launched iFalcon TV it's a 55 inch Android TV and this TV is arranged by the company TCL which we have heard of and talking about the connectivity it has four HDMI ports and two USB ports in which we do have a 3.0 and a 2.0 and we do have all the traditional ports with an aux input 2 and talking about the panel it's a 55 inch panel which is an edge lit and on the right we got the power input and the design wise this TV looks great and is well built and for this TV we got two remotes one can be said a traditional one and another can be said a smart one the smart one has a lesser number of buttons and we do have all the functionalities such as voice inputs and a dedicated netflix button too and an air mouse which is really useful and it runs on bluetooth and as you can see it is made of metal and feels a bit premium and talking about the traditional one it does have all the all the buttons which we need for a daily usage and that's it for this remote so let's get our TV power on and here it is it's the i falcon logo this tv is google certified and thus we will not face any problems for getting our apps run that's nice and it can be said that and here's the boot animation it seems like google pixel mobile or nexus mobile i think yeah nexus has the same boot animation it has 2.5 gigs of ram and we do have a 16 gb storage out of which 20 gb is free i think and here it started and it says that my DTH is not turned on that's okay let's turn into home and here here are the apps which it comes and these are the connectivity options various connectivity options and these are the pre-installed apps and I do install some of them and here's my hard disk connected to it you can see now we d we can also play games on it as it can run any of them pretty well and we got a pre-installed game that was alpha asphalt nitro and we got pre-built tcast app for casting our screen of mobile and it can be used as a, re uh, as a remote for this tv too and let's jump into settings and see what's there and there's a option to connect to our uh, wi-fi network and inputs and google cars and power and that power option had an instant power on function which i hadn't shown that's okay and it, uh, it's, it tells about the storage it says 10 gigs of ram is free and let's jump it to uh, here we can see that it is it runs on no good let's tap that and 
yeah you can see and that's great and the company claims that it will provide some updates and there's a chance that it may get oreo or coming android versions and it has bluetooth functions as you can see i had connected my headphone to it and i also enabled the developer functions you can see on the screen that's it for this one okay. and here is a short sample how the dth connection looks like on it it's running on full hd but the panel is 4k right so that's okay okay now let me show you some of the apps which let's take youtube Now let me show that this is running on 4K. See the colors. And now let's jump into hot. Nowadays we use hot stuff for IPL, right? So let me show this video. Look, it just started. It's really fast as it started. Yeah. <laughs> this video is in full HD. As Hotstar has a maximum of maximum quality of full HD only. This TV can run easily all the apps so you need not to buy and dedicated tv box for it and this tv just got cost 46000 and uh, the revised price of me tv is 45000 so i think a better choice between these two is the iFalcon one and now let me show you how the games work I installed Real Racing 3 on it using Play Store it takes a bit a bit of time to load <coughs> yeah it just started The game is running on 4K. I can clearly see 
that it's running on 4k I bought this TV on the on its first sale on 7th May it was supposed to be happening on 2 p.m. Uh, 12 12 noon but it happened on 2 p.m. due to due to some technical issues I was able to book it on its first sale so And sorry for the bad driving skills. I'm shooting and playing at the same time, so I'm not able to control it properly. And it feels great to play on this big TV and let me open it again yeah, you can see that this game is in memory it has a 2.5 gigs of RAM and the TV is able to provide a good performance with its quad core CPU it has a 53 cores I think let me quit this game and talking about the netflix this tv can pull any video in hdr content in netflix so you may watch videos in hdr in netflix i haven't subscribed to netflix so i can't show you right now and it's just a browser i just installed it from Play Store, I think. This TV is well built and uh, performs well in every aspect. You can do everything which we want a TV to do. That's it. It will give a good competition to its competitors like MI1 and V1 and I think it's a good option to buy this one and it has a TV guard app built in and you can just clean junk, clean memory, just tune your TV and thus that's it for this video and if you do like this video just hit the like button and if you have queries just comment down 
i will try to reply it as soon as possible and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and if you do want some videos on this tv then comment down i will try to make it